Good morning from Crackle, day two. So uh, you can see I'm in a t-shirt right now and it's only 10.30 in the morning. So it's supposed to be about oh, mid 70s here today. Uh-oh, a little loud. <clears throat> so uh, it's gonna be a pretty nice day. So the other two guys made it in from Kiev last night. They didn't get to the hotel until almost 11. So we didn't really do anything. Uh, they're finishing getting cleaned up. We're gonna head out. Uh, we're gonna book a tour tomorrow that's gonna take all day. So today we're just going to do some walking around the city, probably head over to the Jewish Quarter, maybe do a tour of the underground, uh, kind of depends, see what these guys want to get into. So uh, let me go find them, see if they're out of the room yet, and uh, let's get this day started. You guys, this real quick, my uh, hotel is right here. There's the main square. And then in some of my other videos, you see me show you the uh, Pisna I think what's called the Drunk Cherry Place out of Lviv, Ukraine. They actually have one here. So it's funny, it's, uh, I've never seen it written in Polish though. So I'm gonna have to come in here tonight and uh, get one of those drink drinks just for kind of nostalgic or purposes. A caution, a heads up, these change places like this, Contour, where you can change money, dollars, euro, and for the Zelati. <clears throat> you see they advertise here, we sell. It's a dollar, right now the dollar is four to one for the Zelati. So you see they advertise, we sell. That means that's what they would sell the US dollars to us. You have to go inside and look at the buy price. My first night here, I saw one of those, said 402. I said, okay, that's a good price. And then she gives me the money and she only gave me uh, exchange rate of 295 so you're looking for their buy price not their we sell their sell price so it's uh, extremely backwards from what it was in Kiev and anywhere else I've been and it's kind of uh, targeted towards tourists I think to rip them off okay so uh, we just walked from the hotel to the Jewish Quarter about a 10 minute walk <clears throat> I haven't been here for a while so uh, full of little of the restaurants historical things so I'll show you guys Forget the name of the restaurant <clears throat> that I ate here last time. There's also a, a really good pub here. I remember, but I haven't been over to this area since 2017 or 18, so I'll struggle to remember where some of this stuff is. Hey, so this is the uh, Jewish square, the main square down in the Jewish quarter. Like I said, it's only about a 10 minute walk from the main square in the middle of, uh, in the middle of Krakow, right next to the hotel. Maybe I ate an aerial. I forget where I ate last time. Okay, this is deeper into the main square, surrounded by uh, classrooms, class trips. I cannot read Polish, but that looks like Hitler. I'm not sure what it says. Ah, the old synagogue. So I'll look at the courtyard. It's not a restaurant. What's the history out here there, Mr. YouTuber? Well, they had this over was 60, in 1964 they built this area. <laughs> I think what I read on the signs that over 60,000 uh, Jews from the area died in the Holocaust. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to have to go over here. Maybe it's in English. Oh, <clears throat> 1773, this dam <coughs> excuse me, damage, uh, building was damaged by fire. It was renovated in... First half of the 19th century. So it says that the inscription up top uh, indicates that this building was once used by uh, was once a house of study for studying the Torah. On the edge of the uh, Jewish quarter here. It's a restaurant.
Good hey, doggy. Cute dog. They were kind of just uh, circling the Jewish quarter here, trying to get our bearings. And then this place <clears throat> almost looks like a little flea market. I think they call this a ant market. No, nope, they're fleas here, not ants. <laughs> the old uh, Soviet hats. I just want to look at one of these little corner pubs here. Alchemia? 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 Happy hour. Tiskie happy hour at 9 in the morning to 5 for 8 zloty, which is $2 for a half liter of Tiskie. Another little doggy. <coughs> basilica. Thought it was a synagogue, but it actually list, lists it as a basilica on the sign. Oh, uh, we got it. Okay, I survived that. The Corpus Christi Church, Monastery of Canons Regular of the Lantern. Started in 1335. You see them enough times, I've seen so many. These are active churches, right? I don't know anything about this church. I mean, surely they are. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know if it's open, though.
Ironically, that's the first church I've seen that's more impressive from the outside than it is the inside. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> all right, the adventure continues. This is the Pope John Paul II Memorial Quarry. So, in case you forgot, Pope John Paul was from Poland. So that's why you see a lot of his uh, photos and images of him around. I told you back there, there was a sign. Damn. She said, oh, she did a, bl a blushing thing. <laughs> My buddy. Hey, we're taking a small break from walking around the city. I'm gonna go in a pub here called Alchemia. I uh, showed you guys earlier, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you inside real quick. And if you're here before five, it's happy hour, so you can get a uh, the Tisky beer for uh, eight zloty. Didn't even know this was back here. <clears throat> so this uh, glow, it's like the Icos or Ecos, the little electronic cigarettes in, in uh, Ukraine. This is like their version of it here. Didn't even know this room was back here. It's a pretty cool little local pub right off the square here. If you get a chance, pop in here. It's pretty cool. And this is when I walked by the first time, the movie theater seats. <laughs> now I'm curious to what theater these came out of. Okay, it's going on five in the evening. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the video for the day. I'm exhausted, we've been walking everywhere. Just booked a tour for tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty cool. So I'll get back with you guys tomorrow, show you what we got planned. Have a good night.